Good morning. Oh, is that your cue? What are you doing, bud? Good morning to you, too. I missed a day yesterday. Sleep got the best of me. I slept in. It was, had to be, well it didn't have to be, but I wanted to be at school at 10. Just didn't have time for a video. And then I didn't want to be a liar. I said yesterday's was gonna be a morning coffee talk so I could say good morning instead of good afternoon or good evening. So, I just chalked it up as a loss. What are you gonna do? <clears throat> um, it's like four, it's like 4.45 in the morning. And you guys probably can't hear it, but somebody's like rallying the stupid fart can exhaust car. Like over revving it, like acting dumb. Ridiculous. Where's my knife? Hey. I must have washed it. It's back where it's supposed to be. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's talk about parking situation. Um, first of all, there's a good amount of resources out there before we get into what I'm doing and yada, yada, yada. Whoa. This bagel might have seen better days. Good thing we're gonna toast it. Um, with the last, well, I'm on the last stick of this cultured butter, and man. If I was into baking, cool. But this, like, not baking and using it on high heat, Dr. Melissa advised me, no bueno on high heat. This stuff sucks. Although I'm sure some people would, like, be thrilled to have cultured butter in their refrigerator. I am not. Um, parking, resources, apps. Uh, I, Overlander the letter I, the word overlander, O-V-E-R-L-A-N-D-E-R, -E -E um, phenomenal freaking app, it is, I think the best part about it is that it allows you, it has tons of filters, so you can filter what you want to see on the map or what you don't want to see. And you can literally fine tune it to be exactly what you want and nothing more. I'm talking like it lets you filter. Do you want to see a real campground like that you got to pay for? It's established. Somebody runs it. There's an attendant. Yada, yada. Um, the in-between kind of campgrounds. The informal campground. That's like a, hey, no one's ever here, but you're totally allowed to camp here. There's probably a picnic table. There's maybe a fire ring. Cool. There may or may not be like a pit toilet. Cool. And then there's wild camping, like selection, which is nothing. Like, not to say you're not allowed to be there, but like, not a lot of people know it's there, kind of thing. Or maybe locals only type situation. Um, and it's cool because it's all user fed data. And there's a comment thread where you can, like, there's a description of it. So it's all user-fed data, right? So in order to, you know, mark it down, you need to put in X number of required fields. You can add pictures if you want. You don't have to. That's not a requirement. But there's a couple required things, like where is it? It makes you uh, put in the GPS coordinates, which it makes it easy. It, it's such a cool app. Um, it makes you put in the GPS coordinates and you're kind of like, well, that doesn't help me. I don't know how to freaking type those in. You don't need to. You can hit like, I'm here now. 
and it even lets you do that if you're offline. So if you're somewhere in the middle of the boonies, you can open that app. It'll, you have to allow it to see your location. Um, it'll get your GPS coordinates, even if you don't have cell service and you can click that and either screenshot it or, or just then close the app. And when you reopen it, it'll still have your GPS coordinates there and you can continue to fill it out when you get to service or you can fill it out and hit submit. You won't have service, but it'll like upload later when you have service, way cool. When you're browsing and you want to use that campsite or you find one, you're like, yeah, I really want to go there, but like, how do I find that? Like, you can zoom in on the map and be like, all right, well, what's off of this road, that road, like left turn, right turn, don't even need to do that. Click the GPS coordinates, copy, didn't know you could do this. You can paste freaking GPS coordinates into Google Maps and it pins it. It's freaking awesome. It's like 145.4321 north, you know, and then yada, 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 degrees. Like, you can copy and paste that into Google Maps and it, it'll go there. It's freaking cool. Um, wow, I'm getting off on a tangent real quick. That app is bar none the most used thing on my phone while traveling like through and through like no no question about it uh it's phenomenal it sh you can filter it to show you where there's like a, a water source like hey i need to fill my tanks like where's where can i find water it'll show you water spots it'll show you shower spots it'll show you whatever the hell you want restaurants like actual hotels whatever and um like i was saying it's all user fed data um they do monitor it so if they happen to know that it is like an illegal spot they will uh, delete it uh, or if it's private property or something like that and like it's a, it's a known like you're not supposed to be there area they'll delete it but uh, other than that um, there's that comment section, which is cool because like I was saying with that mandatory data that they make you put in there um, Usually people describe it. Oh like uh, What's a pretty typical one? Um, like easy access four-wheel drive four-wheel drive not required high clearance recommended um, a Little noisy because close to the road, but not bad fire looks like there's a fire ring um or you'll get some that are like yeah good for one night but that's all i'd ever stay there is noisy bugs trash all over the place um and it's cool because it posts a date when that comment was put in there so you can see like oh shoot this is like three days ago or like this is last week or oh no one's visited this site or at least commented about it for like a year. So you're like, ah, you know, all right, maybe I want to find another one as a backup just in case, who knows, maybe there's a chain put up at that one or whatever. Um, it's a, a freaking awesome site. Awesome, awesome, awesome site. Um... I say site, it's an app. I think there is a website for it too, though. Like, it, you don't need to be on a mobile device to use it. Although, you, you probably would be. Um, I used that my entire month-long trip down to the States here from Alaska. I was... I wasn't let down once. Uh, oh, scratch that. Uh... I was let down, but not terribly. Um, I wasn't like, you know, brought to a freaking, I don't know, a weird spot in the woods where somebody's gonna kill me. I was, there was a spot in Idaho up in the, what was that? Some forest. It was a forest road campsite. But anyways, it was up by the hot springs. And apparently since, since that camping spot was established, they have since put a gate in 
and it's closed part of the year. Like, I guess maybe when it starts to turn to winter, I don't know. But it was closed. Um, but it was cool, because then I was able to update, and I did, that, you know, couldn't, couldn't access. There was a gate at the end of the road. Not sure when it closed. You know, and it had the date that I posted that, so everybody knows, okay, well, it was, I think it was, it was October something at that point, but someone had been there in probably August or September, because I remember uh, being like, oh, cool, somebody's been there, like, semi-recently, and there's some, some awesome pictures, I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, I want to go there. Um, couldn't get to it, no biggie, but... Uh, yeah, I used that my entire way down. I was let down that once, but I mean, where I was, that area had a ton of campsites, so it wasn't a big deal at all. Um, yeah, I Overlander is like the bee's knees. I freaking love it. Um, and it seems to be getting super popular, which is awesome because it's all, like I said, it's all user-fed data. They don't have, to my knowledge, they don't, like... Whoever owns iOverlander, they don't populate anything. They scrub stuff, you know, and people will recommend things for deletion and whatnot if they find out it's private property or trespassing or whatever. So they'll they'll monitor it that way, but they don't go caravanning the states, you know, looking for campsites. I'm sure they populate the major stuff, hotels and established campgrounds, but all the the free stuff and like the fun stuff that you know you're out of the beaten path. I don't believe they put that in there. Unless they know about it and it's in their local area. Maybe they have some admin people that do that, but I don't believe so. Just because you can you can follow the names of people. You, you can put a username in. You don't have to. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, they're all freaking different, you know? And none of them say, like, admin or Ireland or iOverlander or whatever. You get what I'm trying to say. Maybe. Or maybe you don't. I don't know. And if not, too bad. Um, where was it going with this? Bah! You know whose fault that is? Cultured butter. <laughs> um, another one is the dirt. It's like the... D-Y-R-T. I didn't use it that much. Um, I'm just super partial to iOverlander. That's the only app I really use. I actually just deleted the dirt the other day because I haven't opened it in months. Um, that's awesome for traveling. Super awesome. Um, back when I was in Alaska living in this thing full time, um, I did have a buddy's house that I would stay at. Not that often but often enough i guess um it is where i had like a workshop so it's kind of a dual kind of a dual purpose type situation um that his house is where i rented a room out of and that's where i finished the van and then we came to an agreement once i was done with the van um i would still have some workspace because I knew I, w I was done, but I wasn't done. I was gonna wanna tweak stuff or fix this or do that. And I did. <clears throat> and I wanted to do some other other projects along the way type thing. What am I doing? Have I forgotten how to make an egg sandwich? One day off and like I'm just like totally slacking. What the heck? <clears throat> um, so I still had workspace there and he's like, you could park your whenever, no big deal. So, uh, I didn't do that every night though. Like that wasn't my everyday thing because it wasn't very convenient for where I worked at the time. It was like, it would be like a 40, 45 minute commute every, each way. So I, that wasn't, was, I wasn't into that unless it was the weekend and I was going to go out there and work on something or eat, even if it was a weekday and I was going to work on something. <clears throat> but it just wasn't my first go-to. Uh, in Alaska, there's a ton of kind of public land and and roadside pull-offs. 
uh, for as like an informal trailhead, as just a, a pull off on the side of the road. Um, that's mainly where I stayed was those types of things was either a trailhead or um, a roadside pull off. I really liked Eagle River. Um, it was a really nice convenient spot for where I had to work. Typically after work or before work, whether I was working first or second shift, um, I would do something in that area. There's a lot of hiking out there. I mean, there's a lot of hiking everywhere in Alaska. Um, so really, really I, I stayed at trailheads or roadside pull-offs and it, I made it uh, kind of convenient to be I tried to make it convenient in the way that I would sleep. Like if I was working second shift, well, when I got off of work, I would go drive to wherever I wanted to do something in the morning, wherever I was gonna hike or hike or, or bike. Um, yeah, whatever I wanted to do, I'd go park there in that night. So in the morning I would just wake up and hey, I'm here. <laughs> I don't gotta do nothing. Um, besides go would do what I wanted to do if I was on first shift then after work I would just go you know to wherever I wanted to go do something after work and I would probably just crash there as well um, I'd get back from my hike or bike ride uh, hang out cook dinner do whatever else I had to do um, and crash um, I did have it convenient also in Alaska where I could sleep in the work parking lot and it wouldn't be a big deal. So that was cool. Um, that was insanely convenient <laughs> for part of that. One of the jobs that I worked, uh, it even had showers. So like I could go shower like before or after work or an activity so like I it, that was a first shift job so I can be at work do that and then go do an activity and then just drive back to work go shower and then go to bed in the parking lot and then have zero commute in the morning and be clean that was like the fucking bee's knees that was the that was awesome no you literally could not beat that at all period uh, that was like freaking awesome um but screw that place no <laughs> um what was i gonna say so that was awesome yeah on the way down here like i said i used i overlander i was mildly disappointed once and it wasn't even like the app's fault or anything like that it's just one of those things stuff happens it was a fire road so maybe the fire service put it in that gate that summer nobody knew about it or whatever i don't know whatever doesn't really matter because it, it was a letdown but it wasn't it was like all right no biggie it wasn't one of those oh look at these grand views and this and that and you get there and it's like next to a fucking I don't know, like a dump, you know, like a trip, like, like the municipality dump, like, <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's enough talking on that. What am I doing now? So I'm stationary. Essentially I quit paying at the campground cause it just was not worth my sanity and losing my house almost twice. Uh, like I was not willing to continue to pay that pay for something where they don't do road maintenance. Um, and they didn't, they don't even entertain it. They're like, Oh no, we don't have a way to do that. It's just kind of, you can park at the bottom and walk up. I'm like, what? Like, this is my RV. And I, I get it, you know, like tough shit, I guess, you know, but, um, 
but also like, okay, well, I'm just not going to pay to stay here anymore. Cause yeah, tough shit. <laughs> you, you don't make it convenient for me to live here. Like, and I'm paying you money. Like, uh, I don't know. But anyways, so what am I doing now? It's been, it's been a week probably since I've been, what Bubba? There's nothing in there for you. You know that. You just ate. Oh, do you need more water? You drank it all. Um. Oh, I'm parking lot hopping. So, where did I stay? One night I stayed at school because we got a nasty ice storm. Um. One night I stayed at a gas station, like a one where like truckers were always staying. One night I stayed at Walmart. One night I stayed at the Hampton Inn. One night, tonight, today, I'm like five minutes from school. And I'm just like tucked in the back of like a, a medical like walk-in clinic. Um, you just get creative. Can I help you? I need to eat with this hand. Can you not lick it? Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of getting creative with it. I, don't, I won't stay. I do not plan to stay in the same spot twice in a row. Um, I'm probably just going to, I'm going to feel out. Hopefully I don't get knocked on. Because like the thing with that is it's a small town. So it's not going to take long if I do get knocked for them to, I mean, every time they see me, like, <laughs> okay, well, I know what he's doing, you know? And then it's not, I don't want to say it's going to gonna become an issue, but I don't want it to become one either. And I don't want to put, like, a bad name on, like, the school or anything like that. Not that I'm doing anything bad. Like, I'm not doing drugs. I'm not getting all drunk and partying. Like, yeah. Like, it's not, I'm not doing anything, uh, ooh, what's that word? A cop used it. The one time he knocked on me in Alaska. Um, nefarious. <laughs> that was the best run-in I ever had. Like, bar none. I'd gotten knocked on a bunch in Anchorage because the Muni put in a fucking no overnight parking in, like, public areas thing because some nasty campground owner complained that all these RVs were parking in, like, the Fred Meyer parking lot and Walmart parking lot. And, um, she's like, oh, I'm losing all this money, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, her campground's like a, a shithole, like nasty. And she got it. She got it through the you know, town council or whatever, the muni board or whatever the heck they want to call that. And, uh, I would get knocked on cause I'd park in some lots, some, some days there where I thought there weren't any rent cops but like apparently they are they just don't constantly circle they just pop through like once a night and they'd give me a nasty nasty attitude like and I'm 99% of the time never rude back because I get it they're just doing their job like okay like I got it yep I'll get out of here uh, one of these guys is a real dick though like he was rude as hell um, and I was like, all right, like, I'll get moving. And he's like, no, like you need to move now. And I'm like, well, as soon as you quit talking to me, like I can move, you know, like I didn't say that. And I was like, I, I get it. Like, I'm going to work on it. He's like, well, you get, you need, you have like two minutes to get out of here. And that's when I'm, I kind of like flipped a switch and I was like, uh, okay. Yeah. Let me get right on that. So I start the, tr I start the truck and I start putting shit back together. And then I put my coat on and I, I opened the door again. He's like, what's up, man? Your time's up. Like you need to get, you need to move. And I'm like, Oh, I need to let my dog out. So I let pilot out and he's like, I'm gonna call the cops. So I go, dude, go ahead. He's like, oh, I don't got time for this. I go, you know what? You actually do. This is your fucking job is to sit here and watch me until I move. He was a dick. He was like rude as fuck. Some other rent cops weren't bad. Like they would just get back in their car because literally it's their job to sit there until I move. And like, I didn't like 
purposely like lollygag on them. I mean, I didn't like rush. I wasn't like, Ooh, frantic, you know, but like, I just put my shit together and I got out of there. Um, cause they were freaking polite, you know what I mean? And they weren't dicks about it. Um, but that one dude, man, Ugh. but funniest one was a cop. I parked at a, a, uh, a park parking lot and I knew it. Like all the parks are closed after, you know, sunset or whatever time, uh, in the city. And I was like, eh, whatever, I'll see, I'll see what happens. It was the first time I'd ever tried. I think it was the first time I ever tried parking there. Maybe second. Anyways. Uh, yeah, he knocks and I could see through the window cause it was winter. I was going split board in the morning. I could see through the window because it's a snow everywhere and it reflects everything that's bright. The red and blue flashing lights and like I wake up and I'm like, oh, heard the knock and I go, oh shit, like damn, the actual cops, like that sucks, like, ugh, oh well, you know what I mean, what am I going to do? And I open the door, he goes, hey, how you doing? I go, oh, good. He goes, uh, hey, uh, I don't know if you know this, but all the parks are closed at this time, you know, you're not supposed to be here. And I go, oh, no, I didn't know this. there was a time on it, I didn't see a sign. He goes, yeah, there might not be a sign, but it's just, uh, like, that's the city policy, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right. Uh, he goes, license, and uh, let me just go run back to the car, check it out. And he kind of looking around the van. He's like, wow, it's really nice in here. And I go, oh, thanks. <laughs> and uh, he goes, all right, well, I'll uh, be right back. I can get him my license right away. <clears throat> and uh, I close the door. You know, and, and he hasn't even walked away. Like, like, he's still in view. His car is, I don't know, 25, 50 foot away, something like that. Close, but not too close. Um, I close the door. As soon as it, like, closes, get knocked. Like, what the fuck? Like, and I'm like, fuck, dude. I give him a credit card? Like, idiot. Like, were you not, did you not get the right card out of the wallet? Because I have, like, not a flip open wallet, but it just, like, dishes out cards. I'm like, shit, dude, like, you're going to look dumb, like, you're high or you're not drunk, and I was neither, and I was like, damn it, like, and he opens it up, and he hands me back my license, he goes, up, oh, you're good to go, just, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't care if you stay here tonight, uh, it just look, doesn't look like you're doing anything, anything nefarious, and you're not doing drugs, and blah, blah, and yeah, really, really cool rig, man, this is really nice, I didn't think it would look like this inside here, and uh, I'm like, uh, thanks, and, uh, okay. And he's like, yeah, so uh, have a good night, and, uh, just know that, uh, you, you shouldn't do this. And I go, oh, okay. <laughs> but it's funny to have that happen from, like, a real cop that has authority to, like, give a ticket, give, you know, I doubt I'd get arrested, but it would probably be a, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it'd be a ticket for trespassing, or... I don't, I, would it be trespassing? Because, I mean, it is closed at that hour. Whatever. So, there's none of those parks here. There's not a lot of spots to park in rural Kentucky. Um, I don't want to piss a farmer off by just, like, hopping on his land. Because that is, like, straight, that's straight up trespassing. I mean, in a public parking lot, it might be trespassing. But, another tip. Um, check out the town's website and look at their ordinances. Um, so I checked where I'm at and there is, there's like a gray line with like overnight parking. Um, it's not prohibited, but it's not explicitly stated and it doesn't explicitly state on how you should approach doing that. Whether you need confirmation from the business owner or like landowner um, it doesn't riddle all that out probably cause they don't ever have people living in their van near here. Or if they do, they're just druggies and it's such a small town that the cops know who it is. So they'd probably just go pick them up anyways. Um, yeah. So that's kind of the parking scoop. Um, what else pilot? What else? What else? What else about parking? I'm, I think I'm over, I overanalyze and worry about it too much. Like I should probably just do it and 
like whatever happens happens because in reality whatever happens happens like if i get if i think about it too much i can still get knocked on like there's no stopping that you know um so really i should just do it and if it happens it happens and i deal with it i move i go somewhere else and then i i guess i decide like okay well uh what do i do now there is a couple spots like Walmart is good to go. Um, that's that's typically a universal good to go, depending on the town or the city with their ordinances and shit. Because, like I said, in, in Anchorage, you couldn't even at a Walmart. Um, but you could, but couldn't. There were some of them that it was like halfway acceptable, and I guess the cops just didn't bother anybody there. Kind of like a Cabela's. Can I help you? Can you get your nose out of the cabinet? Thank you. Um, kids these days, gosh. So stinking nosy. Ha! <laughs> get it? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I like that. Um... I had to trap him back here so he would use his bed. I bought him a bed. Did I say that? I don't know. Yeah. Um, Cause there he goes, out of the front seat. Where was I? Oh, and then they're they're up up in it's like it's like a twenty five maybe thirty minute commute from school is a uh, a public parking lot for seventy two hour parking, uh, which is pretty cool because it would take me staying there for seventy two hours straight to then exceed that limit. Like I le I I come and go every day for school. And I wouldn't, yeah. I don't even think I'd be there 72 hours if I stayed there the whole week. You know? Like, it, with how much I sleep or don't sleep. Um, yeah. So. That's that. Um, I don't really know what else to chime in on parking. Just do it. And that's what I need to do. And quit being scared. And, like, playing it safe. Because, like I said, like, I already know what's going to happen. Like, the cop's going to knock and be like, hey, you can't do this. Like, oh, okay. Like, I don't, I don't know. But, like, it's not that serious of, like, an offense. Where, like, I mean, could they take me right off the bat? Absolutely. Like, most likely that's within their power to do. But, um, I treat this like cast iron. I don't wash it. Usually. I mean, I'm about to cook a grilled cheese with it for lunch, so. What's the big deal? Uh. Oh. Like, worst thing, I got a ticket. Like, I ain't going to fucking jail. I don't think. Yeah. Watch, I said that, and then, like, now they're like, oh, you can step outside. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> um. Alright. I think that's it. I'm just, like, rambling at this point, because I'm trying to get going. Okay. Have a good day, folks. Fiokes. Cheers.